Alrighty, hey everyone, welcome back to another video. We got a big one here. I'm starting my DVD collection series videos. Not sure how many videos this is going to be. I'm going to try to do this whole box as one video, or bin I should say. So, I don't actually keep my DVDs or most of my DVDs in the actual cases anymore. Um, I keep them in bins, like this. I have, I don't really know, I haven't counted. I probably have like seven or eight of these at this point. Get a little sneak peek there. Um, and I'll show you what I do. So, yeah, we'll take this one for example. Well, that's kind of a bad example because it's one of those weird keep cases. Um, uh, I'm trying to find a good example. Here we go. So, what I do is, so this is Batman Unlimited Animal Instincts Original Movie. So basically what I do is I take the artwork out of the case. I take the disc out of the case and I fold the artwork like this. I fold it over and then I put the disc in these sleeves. I don't normally use these kind of sleeves just because I'm not, these ones are a little iffy to me, but um, I think I had ran out of sleeves at that point. So I just used whatever. And then any inserts I have, I will also put in there. And then if it's multiple discs, I have some, uh, some sleeves that hold two discs. And I also have, um, if I put two movies in one thing, I just, you know, overlap them, fold them where you can see both sides. You won't be able to see the back of one of the, or both of them, but, uh, that's kind of how I've been doing it to save space because I originally, um, I had like, I don't know, a couple hundred DVDs, um, back when I still lived with my parents and it was just starting to overflow. I had them like all stacked up on my dresser in piles. I had them everywhere. I'm like, I got to get rid of these. Um, so I wound up putting those into DVD binders and I kept just the discs and, or, uh, put the discs into DVD binders and I kept just, I sleeves in like a box. I think I lost, or actually it was two boxes. I lost one of those boxes. I don't know where they are. I still have the other one, but do I ever really think I'm going to put those back on the DVD cases? And, uh, probably not. And that brings me to my next point. So then I started, uh, doing it this way. Um, cause I realized I started building back up where I was having like hundreds and hundreds of DVDs. I'm like, I do not have room for all this. Cause I, these are all Blu-rays on this shelf, except for the top. There's some DVDs up there, like sets, but, um, these are all Blu-rays. So, and there's some Blu-rays like down here. Those are TV shows, DVDs mixed in, but basically, yeah, without going on a really long tyrant, tyrant rant here. Um, I kind of just want to get into this. There's a few different ways I've done it. I've been experimenting with different ways. This has worked the best for me, although it does suck just having them in bins, but I don't have room to display them anyways, and I'd rather them be like this than like in bins and storage, where this way I can fit them all in the house. Um, I am working on another solution, so you might see that in the next, if I ever do this again in like a year or two. Um, I'm working on another solution that will be better. Um... So yeah, which I, you might see it at the end of this series because I'll show you because I've already, I've tested it with one or two binders um, where you can see the artwork and the thing, but you can also flip through it as like a binder. So you might see some of that at the end. But yeah, another thing is I have way too many DVDs still and I keep buying them. I have, I got to stop this addiction of just buying DVDs every time I see a good sale or whatever, or like see my garage sales or whatnot. So um, I am going to go through these. This will actually be kind of a good uh, first run through me because I haven't I haven't looked at some of these in a while um and I do have them somewhat alphabetized although putting them sometimes when I was putting two movies together they weren't the same letter and it was just so yeah I need to like re-go through reorganize all these get rid of a bunch so this is kind of be the first start of that process where I'll go through be like how many of these do I actually not want or how many of these have I actually not seen so yeah let's just um so I'm going to do all the ones on the side here that aren't an actual thing. I think this is just all the ones that wouldn't fit in here. Because I have them somewhat alphabetized. And then we'll get into actual alphabetical order. So yeah, so first up, I need to figure out where I'm going to put all this stuff. Uh, so yeah, sorry for the long thing. I'll probably put a thing like, if you want to skip right to the DVD thing, start here. So first up, we have A Home at the End of the World. See, this is one of the ones where I have two in here. And american outlaws although these are the um these came in like a box set like a weird box set cardboard box so they were the really thin cases so it looks a little weird but yeah we have that never seen either of those that's gonna be a running theme here trust me i'm gonna get more in the middle here uh blood on her name i think this is a dollar tree pickup uh so yeah never seen it so yeah this is gonna be a long video if i talk about every single one so animatrix this is one of those keep cases i i did cut it to fit into here 
probably a mortal sin to some of you guys, but I'm sorry. I, like I said, I did not have the room. I'd rather keep the case, you know what I mean, and have it like in the house and where I can, you know, look through and try to find it than in storage and, you know, all that. So, because of Win Dixie. Ah, here's a movie I have seen, uh, although it's been years, many, many years. But this is one I, I want to rewatch at some point. We have 12 Monkeys. This is actually a really, really good movie. Um, I have, like I said, another one I haven't seen in quite a few years. Um, I watched it right before I watched the TV show. I watched like the first episode or two of the TV show. TV shows seem promising. I really need to get back to the TV show. I might react to it over on my reaction channel, which that'll probably be in the description too. Um, then we have Banditas, a movie I have not seen, so I will not say too much about. The Art of War. This is another one of those keep cases that I had to cut to be able to fit into here. Never seen it. Alexander, what the hell, why did I, this is a weird, two weird movies to put together. Alexander, Director's Cut, and Austin Powers, The Spy of Shagged Me. I have not seen Alexander, I have seen Austin Powers, The Spy of Shagged Me. I used to watch this a long time ago. My dad had this taped on VHS off of cable or the movie channel, I can't remember. And it always um, cut out this one part for like five minutes, so I never knew what happened. And then I, I, I eventually seen the part many years later. I can't remember which part it was, but it cut out like three or four minutes of the movie. Like it just went all staticky. Uh, An Evening with Kevin Smith 2, Evening Harder. Um, I actually haven't seen any Kevin Smith movies. I'm trying to think. I don't know. But I got this 333. Oh, by the way, these stickers are from Disc Replay. Um, I usually don't spend this much a piece on Blu-rays, or Blu-rays, on DVDs. Um, most of the time when I go to Disc Replay, it's either I have trading credit, or they do a lot of times, um, where they'll be like, buy three, get three free. So, you know, if you do that, it's not, it's like technically half of that price. Or recently they've been doing buy two, get eight free. So, you know, I've done a lot of those. So that's where I've acquired, if you see those stickers. I usually don't just flat out buy them for that price, because that's kind of a lot. Uh, Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Another one of those keep cases. Uh, another movie I have not seen in many years, but I used to watch it as a kid a lot. Um, from clips I've seen recently, I don't know how well this has aged, but um, yeah. Then we have Blade Runner, the director's cut. The original cut of the futuristic adventure. This is a movie I want to react to on the reaction channel. Um, yeah, by the way, I, don't, I haven't really advertised this at all. I've started a reaction channel. I don't really have anything on there yet. Um, just because for this reason where I've not seen so many movies and I just need to give myself a list, react to all these, I'll go through that way I can, you know, do it for videos, people can watch it, yeah. It'll help me get through these too, where I was like, alright, we're reacting to Blade Runner this week, next week we'll be reacting to whatever the next movie is, or TV show. Batman Unlimited, Animal Instincts. Um, this was actually in like a little, uh, like box thing that came with like a figurine, um, I wanted to just taking the figurine out and getting rid of the box. It was like this thick of cardboard. It was like a little figurine like this big, but it came in like so much extra packaging. It was ridiculous. And it was really just in, it was, I think I bought it at the dollar store too for a dollar. All right. So now let me just flip this around. So I think that was technically the end because I put all the ones that were where it was full on the side. Um, so now we're going to start at the beginning. So this is the first bin. So, um, I don't really have the like numbered because it goes right it starts with multi features and then it goes into a b c i thought i or do i have numbers in here i don't know it's alphabetized somewhat so we're going to start with the multi features um if i can just get them out of here will be the real trick um i'm gonna try not to edit this video at all because that'll take forever all right Damn, I have a lot in here. Oh. All right, so. Okay, so we're gonna leave those in there and then I'll grab those once I'm done with these. I just don't know where to put these while I'm showing them. Anyways, okay, so we have this one where I put two in one. Um, 10 movies of excellence. I'm not gonna read every single one of these, but if you wanna pause it on there. And then I'm 13 hours of action, some, oh, nine action movie pack. You want to pause it on there so i have that i really should have thought this through better i guess i can put them over here then we have steven seagal four pack black dawn the foreigner out of reach and today you die and then on the other side another four pack flight of fury out for a kill shadow man and urban justice i've seen some of these they're mostly all 
pretty bad, except for Urban Justice. That one was pretty decent. Um, the Foreigner was okay. All the other ones I've seen on here were not very good at all. Then we have Brooklyn's Finest and The Double. Haven't seen either of these. Like I said, I'm going to go pretty quick. I'm not going to try to talk about some of these too much. Uh, three pack, Charlie's Angels, My Best Friend's Wedding, and The Sweetest Thing. So I'm going to stop doing this, like describing every single one. But this is one where it came in like this weird case. Weird case, not weird. But like, you know, cardboard case. I wound up cutting it. Like I said, it might be a sin to some of you guys. But I just, I had too many DVDs. Like they were overtaking everything. So, and I didn't want to just get rid of a lot of them. At this point though, like I said, I'm probably, I want to get rid of like, at least 25% of these because I'm never going to watch probably half of them. Uh, Gore House Greats, 12 movies. I'm not going to read all these. Pause it there if you can even read that. 10 film horror pack um, with these 10 movies. And then on the other side, 10 more movies. So there you go with that. Uh, four feature films, Atonement, Pride and Prejudice, Jane Eyre, and Elizabeth. Never seen any of those. Uh, four film fantasies, we have The Curse of King Tut's Tomb, Blackbeard, Poseidon Adventure, and Merlin's Apprentice. Never seen any of those. Uh, eight Duty Calls pack, we have... Uh, Black Ops, Contract Killer, Double Identity, U.S. Seals, and on the back we have Bad Lieutenant, Cyborg Soldier, Direct Action, and Desert Saints. I have seen Desert Saints. I actually have, I don't know if it's in here, I actually have a, like a standalone copy of that. I actually like that movie. Direct Action, I can't remember if I've seen that one or not. I was going through some Dolph Lundgren movies. I don't remember if I got to that one or not. Um, Double Identity, I watched a long time ago. I remember it being pretty bad. And then Bad Lieutenant, I started and I never finished. So I can't really say much about that. The rest I have not seen. Alrighty, four film favorites. Uh, yep, you can read what they are. Like I said, I'm going to have to... I don't want this to be like a nine hour video. Four more pack, Another four pack, Specialist, Over the Top, Demolition Man, Tango and Cash. By the way, for slip covers, I just... I still put it in the sleeve like this. Then I just put the slip cover over the sleeve. This is, okay. This is a bad example. <laughs> it usually doesn't, it's usually not that hard. There we go. If you go from the top, it's easier. Like so. Another four pack. I think I bought this for Never Ending Story 3 because I had never seen any of them and I have the first two. The third one was hard to find. I don't remember if where I got that at. Rehearsal Impact, plus two bonus movies. Fifteen film action pack. This is actually one of my earliest DVDs. And this one's a little bit thick because this is in the Carver case. So it kind of, I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't like sit well in there. But, um, yeah, this this is, uh, I got this at Kmart back when I used to live with my parents. Um, yeah, I've actually watched watched quite a few of these on here, but I can't I couldn't tell you any, anything about most of them. Like I don't remember crap. Um, this was like years and years ago. This is probably over ten years ago I bought this at Kmart. I think it was like five bucks or ten bucks. But yeah, that was when I was really into like the martial arts movies and like action movies like that. I mean, I still like them, but I was like you know trying to watch a bunch of them then. Sci-fi creature classics. Croczilla includes four bonus movies, so you get five movies. Wow. Wow. Alrighty, that's going to do it for this first bunch. So now I will attempt to get out the second stack, or to finish off the multi-features. This is not going very well, is it? So they work good in here. Okay. You know what we're going to do? I'm gonna do a little bit of this, boom, and a little bit of this, boom. So, I will attempt to not edit this, but who knows. Oh, I do have numbers in here. I don't remember doing that. I, might, I don't know why I wouldn't have done that. All right, continuing. Alter Skate, plus two bonus movies. Oh, I actually watched this one. The Archer. 
two bonus movies. I actually watched The Archer. Um, it was actually not gonna lie, it was pretty good. Would I would watch this again, The Archer. Um, I got both those at Dollar Tree, I believe. Uh, are all three of these Treasure Hunters with two bonus movies? Uh, triple feature, American Tale, Balto and the Land Before Time. I've seen all of these as a child. I recently, well, somewhat recently, a couple years ago, I watched Balto. Still holds up reasonably well. Decent movie. Um, I've not seen the Land Before Time or American Tale since I was a kid, so I don't really remember too much. Uh, Nicolas Cage Six Pack. If you don't know, Nicolas Cage is one of my favorite actors. Um, Love Joe. Drive Angry was, I haven't seen it. Uh, in a while. I remember it being okay. Knowing is actually really underrated in my opinion. Pretty damn good movie. Lord of War I have not seen. Bangkok Dangerous another highly underrated. I think they got like terrible reviews. I thought it, I mean it's not like it's not like the greatest thing ever but like I don't know. I feel like the consensus is that it's like a 2 out of 10 movie and I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. So you know I've, I'm not saying it's like the greatest movie I ever made but it just deserves way more than what people give it credit for and i know it's a remake so maybe it's because of that i haven't seen the original um deadfall i also have not seen deadfall then we have another actor i'm a big oh i think we're getting into oh maybe not uh, another actor i'm a big big fan of is van damme i kind of want to do a van damme review marathon where i go through and review all his movies i don't know if anyone would be interested in that or not but we have van damme hard target the quest street fighter sudden death um hard target great uh, the Quest, I don't really remember that much. I know I've seen it. Street Fighter, again, I don't really remember that one too much. I know I've seen it. I actually, I quite like Sudden, Sudden Death. And then we have another four-pack on the back. Assassination Games, Double Team, Maximum Risk, and Until Death. I think the only one on here I have not seen is Until Death. The rest I've seen, and they're all pretty decent to me. With probably Assassination Games being the first. Uh... Here we go. We have Replicant and Legionnaire. I don't believe I've seen Legionnaire. I've seen Replicant. It was uh, pretty good. And then Bloodsport and Time Cop, which are probably two of my favorite Van Damme movies. So there you go. Then we have Alfred Hitchcock, 15 films. So I'll put that up there so you can see. I don't think I've seen any of these. I think the only Hitchcock film I've seen is Psycho. Uh, Jackie Chan, Triple Punch Collection. Like I said, the slipcover ones, I just do that. Uh, Young Master, Fantasy Mission Force, and the 36 Crazy Fists. I have not seen any of those. A Man Apart and Running Scared. Um, I don't. I haven't seen either of these. I really want to see Running Scared. I'm kind of over. I think I've explained this in some other videos, but usually when like there's an actor I really like, which is Paul Walker. I mean, he's not like one of my favorite actors, but you know, I, I enjoy his movies. Um. When they die, it kind of it's hard for me to watch their movies for a little bit, especially with Robin Williams. I don't think I've watched a Robin Williams movie since he passed away. Um, Paul Walker, I did I have I did watch Joyride since he passed, and it was a little weird for me, but I think it's been enough time now to where I, I can I can sit down and, and watch some. I don't know, I get a little weird like that sometimes. It's different. I mean, when when it's somebody that I've watched a lot of their movies or you know seen them in a lot of stuff, if it's someone like I've never heard of, then obviously it's not gonna impact me really that much. Okay, let's take a breather here. All right, next up we have 20 horror movies. Like I said, I'm not going to list off every single one of these. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, After Dark Horror Fest 3. Do, 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 do. I believe I've seen The Butterfly Effect 3. But I don't remember anything about it. I actually quite like the first Butterfly Effect, which is probably in here, I think. Uh, Friends with Benefits, Easy A, The Bounty Hunter. Never seen any of them. Lambs plus seven bonus movies. So, uh, oh, I don't think you'll be able to see that at all, but there you go. We have The Shadows Collection includes eight movies. Is this the one with... It's not. Okay. I don't know what any of these are. There you go. I don't think so, anyways. Triple Feature, Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown. I have not seen any of these movies. I think the only Tarantino movie I have seen is Django Unchained, which I actually have on Blu-ray up there when we get to the Blu-ray collection. Dolph Lundgren, I never say his name right, Dolph Lundgren collection. Um, I actually been getting kind of into him the last year or two here. 
Um, I probably watched like four or five of his movies recently, and I've enjoyed every single one. So there you go. I don't remember which ones on here I watched. The I'm, I'll be honest, the names are always a little like you have like direct contact, direct action, command performance. Command performance always a drummer. Yeah, command performance is pretty good actually. Um, I watched a couple of the other ones on here. They were they were all at least decent. All the ones I watched. Uh, Pulse and Sick Nurses. Never seen them. Uh, we have The Meg, Deep Blue Sea, Deep Blue Sea 2, and Deep Blue Sea 3. Um, I only one on here I've seen is Deep Blue Sea, the first one. Classic, in my opinion. And then Awake with Jonathan Reese Myers. Never seen it. Alrighty, so that's going to finish up the multi features. Do, 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 do. So now we got the numbers. Ba -da -ba -ba First up, we have oh. So I put 007 in the numbers. So Honor Majesty's Secret Service and Bond Girls are forever. Um, I remember this being quite good. I haven't seen it in many years. Die Another Day. I really enjoyed this movie as a kid. I'm a little afraid to rewatch it as an adult because everyone shits on it. Um, but I remember being a big fan of it as a kid, so who knows. This is also the full screen edition, which is not my favorite. Oh, okay. I remember doing this now. So, the slip cover, I also put World is Not Enough on there, just to save space. Because like I said, at the, point, at the point when I did all this, I was really running out of space. Um, yeah. So there you go. So it actually opens up like that. Um... So yeah, Dino Day. I haven't seen it since I was probably like 13 or 14. That's being generous. Um, and then World's Not Enough. That's the one with... Oh, that's the one with the pipeline, right? I pretty much like all the Pierce Brosnan movies. So I'm, I haven't, I haven't rewatched any of them though in, since I was at least a teenager. So Figure Eyes Only and Moonraker. Um... I don't know if I've seen For Years Only. I've seen Moonraker. I remember liking it. Yeah, when it comes to like some of the older James Bonds, I'm not super familiar. I mean, I used to watch... I mean, I was a big James Bond fan growing up as a kid, so I used to watch them whenever they were on cable. But in terms of like actually putting them in, Moonraker is the one I remember having a VHS of. Um, I had a VHS of Die Another Day. I had a VHS of The World's Not Enough. Um, Golden Eye. So yeah, Moonraker. I do not remember having a VHS of this, so I probably have seen it on TV. Because whenever they have like James Bond marathons, I would always put it on. So I've probably seen it. I just don't recall. We have nine. Never seen it. Twenty one Jump Street. Um, funnily enough, I don't think I've actually sat down and watched this, but I've seen a lot of people react to it on YouTube. So I've seen a lot of the clips. Um, seems pretty good. Which I usually don't do that with movies, but for some reason I did it with this one. Uh, 47 Meters Down and Three Lives. Never seen either. 68 Kill. Never seen it. Eight Heads in a Duffel Bag. Never seen it. Oh, here we go. Tomorrow Never Dies. Uh, I remember liking. And Golden Eye, which... This, I think I have seen this within the last, like, five or six years. Um, yeah, Golden Eye is probably the best one out of all the Pierce Brosnan ones. 27 dresses. I do not know why I have this in here. But there it is. Alrighty, let me put these back and grab the rest of the numbers. So. Alrighty. 1408. Another movie I've never seen, but it has like five endings. I'm like, I don't know which one to watch. And extended director's cut with an alternate ending. I, th I thought I seen on here. Isn't there multi more than just one alternate ending? I don't know. Do I watch the original? Do I watch the alternate ending? Who knows? But definitely a movie I'm interested in watching. 1517 to Paris. Never seen it. Isn't it? Is this something to do with Clint Eastwood? Oh, it says two movies on it. And Foreclosed. How to Lose a t Guy in 10 Days. No Strings Attached. I've actually seen No Strings Attached. I remember liking it. So we have the. The Gro Groove Squad and Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Friends Forever. I think I got this like, really cheap somewhere, and I thought... It, I'd never seen it before. It looked kind of wacky. So, 
or not like wacky in terms of like the packaging. I'm like, I thought it might be rare or something, so I picked it up. I don't know. Copycat. Wait, why is this? This should be in the multi features. These next three should be in the multi features. They're in the wrong spot. Copycat, Diabolic, The Crush, and Pacific Heights. Let me in. The Crazies, Apollo 18, and Pandorum. I feel like I'm forgetting to talk about some of these. Um, I don't think I've seen any of these. And Safe with two bonus movies. Do, 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 do. So that should finish that section up. So now we're getting on to the A's. Do, 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 do. So I do. I did keep some of my box sets are still like in the box sets. If I didn't, if I, you know, if it was like a nice box set or I just wanted to keep it in the box set. Eventually, when I have a bigger place and can set up my whole room and all that, then I will. Uh, it'll be nice to still have those. Uh, about time. I watched one of those damn movie recap things on YouTube, and uh, it was for this movie, and it made me want to watch it, so I bought it off of eBay. Amityville 4, The Evil Escapes. Never seen it. This is another series. I don't see a lot of people talk about the Amityville movies on YouTube, and there's like a ton of them. I, I know there's like the, the not part of the main series ones, but when I did a little bit of research, I think there's eight or nine, maybe I'm making that number up, of like the original series. Um, so I would be interested to maybe react to those. I don't know. The later ones might be kind of boring. I'm not sure. Um, at least react to or review on the channel. Those might be fun to go through and review. A Beautiful Mind, never seen it, Ambushed, and Blood of Redemption, never seen those, Age of Adeline, I heard it was good, been wanting to watch it, never seen it, uh, I bought these for the fiance uh, years back, I think for Christmas, or her birthday, I can't remember, A Dog's Purpose, and A Dog's Way Home, I believe there was a third one, or maybe this is the third one, there's three of them. One of them I have on... I, I got her on Blu-ray. Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Squeakwool, and Alvin and the Chipmunks. Um, I remember liking the first one. I watched it quite a few times as a kid. Um, the sequel I remember seeing in theaters. Um, I don't really remember anything about it, though. Arlington Road. Uh, never seen it. Arthur Christmas. Never seen it. Arachnia. Never seen it. Few Good Men. I so I've never seen this, but I've seen it on TV a lot, like p bits and pieces of it. But I've never actually sat down and watched it. Uh, American Sniper. I remember this being quite good, but I haven't seen it since it came out. And Justice for All. I think I feel like we watched this in school. Uh, if I'm thinking of the right movie, is this? No, 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 no. Maybe, I don't know. All Dogs Go to Heaven 1 and 2. I remember watching these a lot as a kid, or at least the first one. I don't know if... Did I watch the second one as a kid? I don't know. I watched at least the first one a lot. But, uh... And I, I watched it a few years ago, and it, it still held up, so... But I've kind of forgotten it by now. Alrighty. Let's get through the rest of these A's, baby. So yeah, this is only one bin of like, I think I have seven or eight bins. The Addams Family. Addams Family Values. Never seen The Addams Family. Made it Spider-Man 1 and 2. I actually like both of these movies. Um, yeah, come at me. Air Bud. Seventh Inning Fetch and start, uh, Spike's Back. Never seen either of these, but I'm a big fan of the first Air Bud. Air Bud Special Edition. Includes all new doggy commentary with the entire Buddy's family. That's probably annoying. And Ice Princess. April Fool's Day, which I actually watched as a kid a lot. I haven't seen it in many years. I remember the twist somewhat, um, so I really want to give it another rewatch. This is one I might. Maybe I'll, even though I've technically seen it, I kind of want to react to it. Or maybe I'll get someone who hasn't seen it, um, and we can react to it. And then Adaptation, which is a Nicolas Cage movie I've not seen. I really need to get on that. I've seen most of his movies. The Aviators and Across the Universe. Never seen either. Beethoven's Christmas Adventure. Never seen it. Age of Cody Banks. Age of Cody Banks 2. Childhood Classics. I love these. I love both of these movies. 
I really wish they would have made a third one. But yeah. Agent Cody Banks. I don't know if these are on Blu-ray. If they are, I need to look it up. I need to get these on Blu-ray. Classics. American Werewolf in London. I have Paris somewhere. Or no, I think I have Paris. It's one of those ones where I took just the disc and put it in the binder. Um, but this is one of those things where I've seen American Werewolf in Paris. I used to watch a lot as a kid. I don't think I've ever seen London. Afterlife. I remember this movie being okay. Oh, jeez. By the way, if you're wondering what this gate is, that's the baby gate. So the baby doesn't get into all the movies. American Pie, The Book of Love. I don't think I've seen this one. I might have. I remember, because, you know, once you get into the directed dvd ones, they get a little iffy. I remember liking Bandcamp, though. I don't know if I've seen any of the other other ones or really remember them. Alrighty. I kind of forgot that I was supposed to be kind of deciding what ones I'm getting rid of. I'm just going to do that on my own time. I'm not going to sit here and make you guys watch me. Hmm, do I want this one or not? I'll get rid of this one. Uh, the Arrival, The Arrival 2, never seen them. Alexander, never seen it. Final Cut. Alphabet Killer. Um, I watched this because it sounded interesting and I like Eliza Dushku. It was alright. Kind of boring. Uh, All the Money in the World. Uh, never seen it. I think that's the one where they replaced uh, Kevin Spacey. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective Junior, and Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. I have not seen Junior. This is one of the ones I've seen a lot as a kid. Don't really remember it. Then we have Attack Force with this cool holographic cover. This is one I'll probably get rid of. Because do I ever see myself watching this again? No. Alrighty, was that the last of the A's? I believe it was. Alright, so now we're getting into the final section here. Hopefully the audio on this is okay. Oh, jeez. Alright. Battle Creek. Never seen it. And Bennett Lake Beckham. Never seen it. We got Balto 2 and Balto 3. Never seen them. Basketball Diaries. And Blindsided. Never seen it. Boondock Saints. I have seen this. Don't remember it. Remember being good? That's about it. Uh, bring it on. Six movie cheer pack. I bought this for my fiance. Brothers. Um, I think I've seen this. This is the one where he, I know it's the one where he comes back. I don't know if I think. I don't know if I think I've. I don't know if I've actually seen it or if I was uh, in the room while it was on. Batman Under the Red Hood. Have yet to see it. Although I kind of know what happens. Black Swan. Never seen it. Bubble. Never seen it. Break, never seen it. Brick Mansions, never seen it. Bad Influence, never seen it. Beethoven, five movie collection. I bought this because we were going to go, uh, me and my fiance, we're going to go through all three, or all, th all the Beethoven movies. Um, this is, I think this is when we first started dating. This is a while ago. Um, I think we only watched the first two. We watched the first one, then we watched the second one like six months later. We still have yet to watch the third one. Uh, Ballistic, Elks, and Elks versus Sever. I don't know what the hell this is. I like Antonio Banderas. I like, was this Lucy Liu? Uh, I think it is. Yeah, Lucy Liu. So, I think I, someone did a video on this movie. Was it, oh, Chris Stuckman, I think, did a video on this. So, talking about how terrible it is. Uh, Blood Work. Never seen it. Bel Canto, never seen it. The decade you were born, the 80s. I think the reason I kept this is because... Let me see. I think I got it like a Dollar General for like a buck or two. But it had, I believe it has a free movie on it from the 80s. Uh, special features. A complete TV episode of 21 Jump Street. A complete feature film, Bail Out. 1989, starring David Hasselhoff. And then it's got commercials on it and a bunch of 80s movie trailers. So, yeah. So that's why it's in there. Because I was like, seems I, wouldn't, I would never just watch a random ass, like... First of all, I wasn't born in the 80s. So, I was born in the 90s. So, yeah. There you go. The Babadook. And Blown Away. Never seen Blown Away. I have seen The Babadook. Uh, I remember it being pretty decent. 
So yeah, if you want any more in-depth thoughts on any of these, let me know and I will try to do a review of them. I want to start doing a lot more movie reviews and kind of just talking about the movies themselves. Because I, I, I really enjoy physical media, obviously. Um, but I kind of want to start talking about more about the movies themselves and, you know, reviews and stuff like that. So yeah, that was this bin of movies. So yeah. Let me know what you guys thought of that. Um, I don't know when these are going to be coming out. I'm going to upload this one probably tonight or tomorrow, which that means nothing to you guys. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want me to do the whole DVD collection. You like this format, anything I can improve on. Um, I, I noticed the ring light is like in my eye, which is probably annoying some of you. Um, I might try to fix that for the next one. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to keep this ending short. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.